the moon is the Earth's only natural satellite and was formed 4.6 billion years ago around 30 to 50 million years after the formation of the solar system. The moon is in synchronous rotation with Earth meaning the same side is always facing the Earth. The first unmanned mission to the moon was in 1959 by the Soviet lunar program, with the first man landing being Apollo 11 in 1969. The first moon of 2018 was also the first supermoon of the year. A supermoon is when the full moon is closest to the Earth. It occurs about once in every 14 full moons. The next one will happen on January 31, 2018, occurring with a lunar eclipse. Whatever you call it, a blue moon, a red moon, a purple moon or a blood moon, it will be a special sight on January 31st. Three separate celestial events will occur simultaneously that night, resulting in what some are calling a super blue blood moon eclipse. The astronomical rarity hasn't occurred for more than 150 years. This is according to Space.com. A supermoon like the one visible on New Year's Day is the term for when a full moon is closest to the Earth in its orbit, appearing bigger and brighter than normal. On January the 31st, the moon will be full for a second time in a month. A rare occasion, it happens once every two and a half years and is known as a blue moon. To top it off, there will also be a total lunar eclipse. But unlike last year's solar eclipse, this sky-watching event isn't going to be as visible in the continental United States. The best views of the middle of the night eclipse will be in Central and Eastern Asia, Indonesia, New Zealand and Australia. Although Alaska and Hawaii will get a glimpse too. For the rest of the US, the eclipse will come too close to when the moon sets for the phenomenon to be visible. Because of the way light filters through the atmosphere during an eclipse, blue light is bounced away from the moon, while red light is reflected. The eclipse moon reddish colour earned its nickname Blood Moon. Sarah Noble, a program scientist at NASA headquarters, said the following. We're seeing all of the Earth's sunrises and sunsets at the moment reflected from the surface of the moon. Scientifically, the event is pretty meaningless. The moon's orbit is well studied and well understood by scientists. The real impact is how astronomical events like this get people interested in science. Anything that keeps people interested in science and makes them realise science is important is a good thing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.